Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to Honey What's For Dinner. Today is a bit of a hack day. What does an ordinary kitchen iron and an ordinary coffee pot have to do with National Grilled Cheese Day? I'm about to show you how you can make Campbell's tomato soup and make a grilled cheese sandwich using your coffee pot and your iron. We're simply going to take an ordinary can of Campbell's tomato soup, which a college kid would have, or in my case, my husband travels for work and he's often in a hotel room and he's had to use this hack a couple of times. You simply take a can of Campbell's soup. You pour it in your coffee pot. You put your coffee pot on the burner. Take the 14 ounce can of water, pour that through your coffee pot, and now you're making your tomato soup. Next, we take some bread, a couple of slices of American cheese that I got from the deli at my local supermarket, put another piece of bread on top, like you make a regular grilled cheese sandwich in a pan. You take a little butter, Spread it on the top of the first, the top slice of bread. You need a clean towel, piece of parchment paper, a second piece of parchment paper, although way back when, before parchment paper, we used wax paper. You put parchment paper down and you simply iron the top of your sandwich. It'll take about four minutes for this side to get brown. And then we'll flip it over and butter the other side of the bread and iron that. And that'll take about four minutes. And I just sometimes you just kind of, once you get the butter melted, you just kind of leave the iron there, kind of like a panini. And today you could use some sliced tomatoes, stick some bacon in there, a can of tuna. Now the water's passed through our coffee maker. We give this a stir. Not too hard though, you don't want to break your coffee pot. Just a nice little gentle stir. And there you can see your tomato soup has come together. You just leave it back in the coffee pot on the burner to keep warm while you continue ironing your sandwich. You'd be surprised the cheese comes out gooey and gooey. You can see the cheese is starting to melt already. You flip it over. Another little bit of butter. Smear it all over the top of this. Put your parchment paper back on, put your iron back on, and iron your sandwich some more. Let's take a peek and see how we're doing here. Now there we've got it. The cheese has melted, both sides are brown. You get rid of the parchment paper and the towel. That was my dog, Marika. She's outside, she wants to come back in, but she'll have to wait just a few minutes. And, there you have it. Grilled cheese with my iron, tomato soup, hot tomato soup, out of my coffee pot. Happy National Grilled Cheese Day.